Don't ever become so successful that you stop needing something from Jesus. Don't ever become so comfortable in your life that you stop needing something from him, that I can't do this thing without you, that I've lost friendships and I've lost relationships and it's just me and you in this thing. I need you, I need you. Somebody needs to reach up and start touching Jesus like they need him again. You've got to stop looking through the lenses of the things that didn't work out and the disappointments that didn't work out and start beginning to believe that God created you for such a time as this that you were actually fearfully and wonderfully made. You've got to start believing on another level. God said, if you would elevate your perspective, I could do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you may ask or think the problem with most of us who have these issues is that we think too low of ourselves. How can he do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you think, may ask or think, if you're thinking too low? You think that your healing will come with one degree or one relationship, one thing, that'll be exceedingly and abundantly enough for me. And God says, what I have for you is so much greater than fixing that one little thing in your past. That when I get finished with the women who registered for this conference, that I'm gonna show them that they always had wings. They just didn't know how to spread them. I'm gonna show them that they always had enough wind to carry them over obstacles. They just didn't believe that they could keep up. I'm gonna show them who I've always called them to be, this woman, this woman in the text. She's about to discover that she has wings. Wings that no one else could see. She was separated and isolated from the rest of the community that she was in, but for some reason, she was still determined. So this woman, she comes from behind and she touches the border of his garment and immediately she was healed. I love that we serve an immediately kind of God. That you can ask and receive immediately. But this is where things got a little interesting for me because Jesus said, who touched me? And everyone denied it. The woman who was in the crowd who touched him denied touching him. Have you ever had to deny being touched by Jesus? You see, the woman, she was ready to receive her touch and go back to being invisible. Sometimes God speaks a word in our life, but because we're too afraid to actually live in that word, we go back to being who we used to be, not recognizing that the moment we received that word, we became too big for where we used to be, that the moment God placed a word down in our spirit that our territory enlarged, that means everyone around us had to grow up or get out because what God was doing in our lives required a little bit more space and if you couldn't grow with me then you can't go with me because I'm not going to deny that I just touched the hem of his garments. I'm not going to deny that I think I deserve better than this. I'm not going to deny that I want to go after it. I'm not going to deny that I have wings any longer. I'm not going to deny it for you to be comfortable with your own mediocrity. I have to step into who God has called me to be and I know maybe you've only known me as a teen mom but God just called me into ministry and so you're going to have to experience Expand your definition of me to fit with who God has called me to be. Some of you are going to have to go back to your homes and reintroduce yourself. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is the anointed and appointed vessel of God. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I've been changed and transformed and set free. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm not the woman you used to know. I'm a woman who knows how to rise, and I've been denying it for long enough, but it's time for me to start walking in the fullness of who God has called me to be. It's time for me to start walking in the fullness of my calling and my destiny and to stop apologizing for wanting more than anyone else wanted. For some reason, this woman, she stood out to Jesus. She was... He was in the crowd and there were so many people touching him, but for some reason, the way she touched him, like she needed something from him. I think our worship is most beautiful when we're broken because we need, we need something from him. Don't ever become so successful that you stop needing something from Jesus. 
Don't ever become so comfortable in your life that you stop needing something from him, that I can't do this thing without you, that I've lost friendships and I've lost relationships and it's just me and you in this thing. I need you. I need you. Somebody needs to reach up and start touching Jesus like they need him again. That it's not just this robotic function that we get into worship and start lifting our hands, but we need something from him. And the woman, and Jesus said, who touched me? And everyone denied it because the woman was ready to be healed, but she wasn't ready to walk just yet. And Peter and those with him are like, master, the multitudes, there's everyone around you and you ask who touched me. And this is what I love. And this is what I want you to get down in your spirit. Because Jesus said, somebody touched me for I perceived power going out of me. Power came out of me when someone touched me. For some reason, a woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years, she touches Jesus and power goes out of him. I wonder how many people in this room have been exposed to a superpower, but they haven't quite realized yet that they've got access to strength that is beyond them. So you're worried and you're stressed and you're wondering, how am I going to do this thing on my own? And Jesus just wants to know who touched me. Because there's something about identifying with the fact that you have called on a name that is greater than yours. That should give you the kind of power that should make demons tremble when you walk into a room. That darkness should start backing up when you walk into a room. He wanted to know who touched me. Who touched me because I perceived power. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.